So one setting you want to pay close attention to when you're setting up your receiver for free satellite TV is the LNB type or LNB frequency. Now this is very important because this is the information that your receiver uses to calculate where to find the channels that your satellite dish is bringing in. And in North America, there are two types of KU band LNBs that are used. The most common one is this one, the standard KU band LNB. And the mixing frequency is 10,750 megahertz or 10.75 gigahertz. And the other kind is this one, the universal KU band LNB, which has two mixing frequencies. 9750 and 10,600 megahertz for the low band and high band of KU band channels. And if you have this set incorrectly, I'll just leave this one here to 5150. And you'll see what happens to my signal meter. Watch. The signal disappears when you don't have the LNB type or LNB frequency set correctly. So we'll go ahead and correct this, put it back to 10,750. So what happens when you have the LNB type or frequency set wrong is that your receiver miscalculates where to find the channels that your dish is bringing in. So if you're not sure what frequency to use, look on the label of your LNB and you'll see a line that says LO for local oscillating frequency. And that is the frequency that you have to put into your receiver. That frequency should match on your LNB and your receiver. And it's either going to be 10,750 megahertz for a standard KU band LNB, or for a universal, it's going to be 9750 to 10,600 megahertz. And if you have that set up correctly, then you should see channels. That's one clue. If you're not getting a signal, always check your LNB frequency and make sure it's set the way it's supposed to be.